crafty friends it's jess from jesscrafts.com and today i'm here with a five card one kit video normally i would do 10 cards but this time i just did not have time before the release to get 10 cards done filmed photographed etc etc so i'm just gonna be making five cards with a kit this is the scrapping for less february kit called whip it up which has a baking theme Scrappin' for Less reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in sharing the kit. Since I always enjoy working with their kits, and in fact, I almost always use their kits up because I like them so much and I find them so easy to work with, I said that I would love to work with it and share it with you guys because I really, I you know, if I enjoy it, that's what I want to share with you guys. So, um, they come with the whole kit comes with like four mini kits, which is another reason it's kind of one of my favorites. I don't have to use like the only the same materials, only the same theme, only the same stamp set throughout all of my cards. There's always like a couple of little mini stamp sets and there's different pattern papers and different color schemes. So I find it really inspiring and easy to work with from that perspective. The baking theme was really fun. There were these two little images from La La Land Crafts. There's a little boy named Luca and a girl named Marcy. That's their sort of like signature line. They have all kinds of different Lucas, but they're, there's a you know, one. He's carrying some cookies and she's mixing up some batter. I wind up not using Marcy today and not because she's not cute, but just that I messed up when I was coloring her and did not have a time to color up another one. But here's her kit on screen now with all those bright, fun pinks and blues and greens really loved her my favorite stamp set though is the cookie mouse this is a scrap and for less exclusive that they designed and he is just so so cute he reminds me of uh one of those of uh, the classic children's book and there was also the lawn fawn pie stamp set which i ironically did not have and i was happy to receive because it works great for thanksgiving but the high cutie pie sentiment that I'll be using today makes it great for all year long type cards. I do have the banana split level of the kit. So here are the extras that you get at that additional level. I won't be using them today just because I know not everyone gets the banana split level and I wanted to share some general inspiration. Plus again, it's only five cards. But I do like the um, the dyes and the reusable nature of that. I like that the scrapping for less, the like the banana split level, that extra level tends to be some good like stash building stuff because it's usually an extra stamp, dye, stencil, um, something like an ink or um, an embossing powder, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, for my first card, I decided not to use any stamped images because in Luca's collection, which I don't know the name, the names or numbers of all the collections, but in the one with Luca, there is this really cute apron paper, which was like my favorite paper from the whole set or the whole kit. So I decided that I would use it and I used it with the MFT sketch. Each month, Scrappin' for Less will send you a set of four card sketches as sort of a jumping off point. I personally like this because of course I could go online and find my own sketches. I have a Pinterest board of sketches, but sometimes somebody just kind of like throwing you the challenge and I just print it off and go. It just, uh, I don't know, it works for me rather than trying to pick between a hundred sketches on my Pinterest board. I'm just like, well, I'll make one of these four work. So I'm using the MFT 327 sketch that they did send out or will send out to you when you buy, when you purchase your kit. And I liked how it had that mix of a rounded layer with the banner, like the sort of sharp edges. I try to not cut into every piece of pattern paper. So like here they am using this you know extra strip of the apron paper to create the stripe that goes across the back. You could, of course, save some paper by like not using a whole stripe across the back or by cutting a shape out of this pink polka dot. But because I was attempting to work quickly in particular this week, I didn't do some of those paper saving resource cost, etc. saving tricks that you certainly can do. Although I'll share a little cost effective tip later that some of you may know from a recent video. So layering that pattern paper on, letting it be the main focal point. I also picked that sketch because I thought the timer 
would act as the circle element from the sketch. And then I like the what's cooking sentiment. It reminds me of that whole, that, that, sorry, that old song. Uh, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? Even though that's not exactly what it says there, but that's, that's what made, I was kind of like getting that song stuck in my head as I was crafting here. Instead of using foam tape there, and I'm going to do this on the same on the back of Luca here in a minute. Instead of using foam tape, I instead have just started layering my scraps of really thick white cardstock, layering them together and using them in strips. And it's free and better for the environment. Not that this is the most environmentally friendly hobby we have here. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's just a little tip. If you are running out of foam tape, don't want to keep those giant rolls around, consider using your scraps. You probably are making scraps of thick card stock if you use it in your card bases and your coloring, etc. So I'm using the Seize the Birthday sketch number three that was also included for my oval. It does say you can use any shape, but I like the oval. So for my oval, I am using the stitched scallop ovals from Cat Scrappiness. I love Cat Scrappiness basic dies. I use them all the time. I, I'm, you know, many of you know I'm on the design team, but that's, it's, I just use them all the time because they work for everything and they're good sizes. So I'm just going to, you know, I pick that one and I just keep using it again and again in a few of these cards throughout. So I'm making my fake foam tape that's really just cardstock layers here to pop Luca up. And what's nice about this is it doesn't really compress in the mail. So I, I don't know. I think it, it's, I'm happy with this as a solution when my foam tape ran out. I thought about, oh, should I add a little element down there because there's those hearts in the sketch? But all of the like pre-printed embellishments that come with it were super big and just not the right scale for Luca. He does come with a sentiment. It says baked with love, which is cute, but I wasn't sure if I would use a card with that sentiment. I, you know, I don't mind baking, but I'm not like the most talented baker out there. And even if that, I just don't know that many people who want baked goods. So I decided to use the without you, I would crumble sentiment from the Cookie Mouse stamp set. This was probably one of my favorite sentiments from the kit. I like to send a lot of like thank you messages and appreciation, um, particularly to people that I work with. Some of you may know I'm a school teacher and this is probably common in other workplaces, but in schools, we definitely do a lot of teamwork to make ourselves successful. And so I like to acknowledge the people that help me out with that. So anyway, on to the next set of, or well, I guess it's a set of cards this time because I am going to make two pretty similar here. I decided to use my stays on and my stamp positioner tool because this these stickers have a little bit of like a shine to them and I wasn't sure if my standard VersaFine ink would work well. VersaFine ink is a pigment ink so it takes a little bit longer to dry. It's great for sentiments and I'm using it here to stamp these little faces but if it was not going to dry quickly on that shiny sticker uh, it wasn't gonna work for me this week because again I am all about the speed crafting. So I cut and colored three little pies. When I was stamping all of them down, you know, the pies take up so little space and they color up so fast compared to some of the other more detailed and but adorable images from the set. I colored up a bunch of pies and I'm going to make two cards with them. I actually cut out like two sets of the same card and I considered for a moment like literally making the same card twice which I think is fine you know um, I donate a lot of my cards and so I can have more than one they're not the same exact pattern paper but also you know no they're gonna go to different people so it's not gonna matter if they're basically the same card however as I was doing it I wanted to kind of uh, show you a little mix it up strategy. So I cut out all the same elements, all the same size, but basically I'm going to make one card landscape and one card portrait just to show you how simple it can be to mix things up, especially 
when you are working with double-sided pattern paper or cardstock like I am here. So even though I didn't cut them intending to lay them this way, I could flip everything over and kind of just make it work. Even that stitch scallop die there, I actually turned to the back and that doesn't always work with dies, but I have found the cat scrapping a scallop, stitch scallop dies do tend to work on either side as long as uh, they haven't left too much of an impression from your plate. So yeah, this time I'm going to add two cutie little pies because I had two extra there and they're fun. I liked the little winky face pie, but I did a winky face and a smiley face pie for those. And I'll put it on some simple white cardstock at the end. So now on to my final card and my favorite stamp image from the whole kit. It is the Cookie Mouse. And I'm going back to the sketches. I'm kind of in a very loose way <laughs> using the Operation Write Home Sketch 28. I'm not doing the stripes behind the mouse. I'm just kind of doing the whole like large element panel. I don't know what you call that. Like the on the sketch, it says it has measurements on the sketch, which is fun about Operation Write Home sketches. If you like to just follow the rules, I know some people love following the rules. Um, then Operation Write Home sketches are for you because it tells you exactly what size to cut everything. So it makes it easy peasy lemon squeezy. But I'm just going to use like the big rectangle and then the like smaller rectangle strip as my inspiration for the layout of the card. But I'm not going to do the vertical or sorry, horizontal stripes that are underneath that big layer. I wanted to use the twine that came in the kit in part because I always, you know, like I said, I tend to use up scrapping for less kits. Like I, they don't linger in my stash and giant piles. Like I make a whole bunch of cards with them. And then I just add the stamp sets to my collection or the stencils or other little like extras. But all the like use it up embellishments, all the twines and ribbons and um, cut aparts, all that kind of stuff. Like I don't know what you call those little like pre-cut elements. I sometimes call them cut aparts. I don't know why I call them that, but there you go. Um, yeah, I, I just tend to be able to kind of get all that done. And so there I just I'm basically done with the twine now. I, you know, I only made one card with it, but that's fine. And so I just wrapped it around. I tied it in a bow. You could save some by like not wrapping it all the way around, but it's so easy to tie it in a bow when you wrap it all the way around. And if I needed more blue twine, I probably have someone some, somewhere in my stash or that's an easy thing to pick up. But why try to save it for the perfect card or get three cards out of it or whatever? Like just enjoy it. That's why we buy these supplies. So. Um, then I'll pop him up again on my fake scrap cheapo foam dots that are not made of foam. And that's going to be it for my five cards today. I will be linking you to the blog hop so that you can check out all the other inspiration and to scrap it for less so that you can pick up this super adorable kit and find out more about them. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.